The following vehicles are either accessible to you or must be destroyed throughout your campaign and firefight missions. Brute Chopper A mass of spikes and a huge front wheel, the chopper splatters its way through infantry and rams smaller vehicles. Apply the boost to increase the force of the hit, but be sure to time these carefully. Lob a grenade under or onto the driver and the chopper usually explodes. This destroys the vehicle, so snipe the driver and sidestep an attack, optionally hijacking a chopper if you wish to commandeer the vehicle. The chopper's armor is concentrated at the front, so face your foes head on. The dual cannons offer heavy sustained firepower, attack from the sides or rear, for preferred takedown results. Banshee Banshees can be attacked but not piloted during campaign and firefight missions with the exception of Kikawani Station. Take these flying craft down with a well-aimed Spartan laser or missile pod fire. Ghost This fast and lightly armored craft travels at high speeds strafes in all directions and can quickly dart into cover. It fires rapid but reasonably weak plasma cannons. Use the same driver takedown or hijack techniques as the chopper if you're wanting to drive a ghost. Don't forget to boost. This allows you to escape incoming fire and foes or ram them for destructive crushing damage. Mongoose Hidden inside certain UNSC caches dotted throughout the ruins of New Mombasa, the mongoose is used to quicken the exploration pace in the city. Cover distances at speed. You are only lightly protected, receiving a similar amount of damage compared to you being on foot. Erratic and defensive driving is required to avoid enemy fire. The mongoose can roll over easily so dismount early and right the vehicle while still in motion, or wait for it to come to a rest. The mongoose has no real offensive capabilities. Scorpion The UNSC's main battle tank ignores all incoming fire from smaller weapons as it usually bounces off the scorpion's heavy armor. A side gunner should help remove brutes attempting to leap onto the vehicle. The Scorpion's main threats are foes with fuel rod cannons, banshees, ghosts, shade turrets, and wraiths. The main cannon delivers a killing blow with one firing to all but the toughest combatants. Fire as often as possible. Aiming is important, but secondary. Request marine backup on the secondary weapon, and another riding on the side. Equip him with a preferred weapon. Warthog. A mainstay of the UNSC army, warthogs are lightly armored and offer reasonable front protection, but not to the sides or rear. Arm any computer-controlled marine colleagues with better weaponry when they ride with you, such as the Spartan laser, rocket launcher, fuel rod cannon or sniper rifle. Their ammunition is infinite. This warthog variant fires a machine gun turret allowing you to rapidly cull lightly shielded or unshielded foes, ram the rest of them. This Warthog variant fires a Gauss cannon and is tailored more towards enemy vehicle destruction. Wraith If you're brave, you can hijack this troublesome craft, rip open its hatch and lob in a grenade. Otherwise, utilize long distance and powerful weaponry to defeat a Wraith such as a rocket launcher or Spartan laser. Snipe the brute manning the vehicle's secondary weapon to lessen the combined impact of the Wraith's artillery, but only if you don't have the necessary weapons to end the confrontations with direct and decisive firepower. Otherwise, circle around to the craft's rear and destroy its exhaust port to finish it. The Wraith fires a plasma mortar, which is incredibly powerful, but easily dodged. Kikawani Station has anti-aircraft wraith patrols, a variant firing fuel rod cannons. Fight back with banshee fire as quickly as possible. 